We covered monitoring GKE infrastructure and services in the previous episode. But GKE is not the only place you can run containers in Google Cloud. Today, we'll look at three options for running containers and how to instrument each one for observability with cloud operations. Welcome to Engineering for Reliability with Google Cloud. Let's start by reviewing your options for running containers in Google Cloud and how you might choose between them. Your first option is, of course, GKE, or Google Kubernetes Engine. It's a great way to deploy, scale, and manage Kubernetes clusters in the cloud and use them to orchestrate your container workloads. GKE is the industry's first fully managed Kubernetes service, and it implements the full Kubernetes API, four-way auto-scaling, release channels, and multi-cluster support. Your second option is Cloud Run, either as a fully managed serverless offering or on GKE clusters. Cloud Run abstracts away infrastructure management by automatically scaling up and down from zero and almost instantaneously by responding to incoming traffic. And Cloud Run only charges you for the exact resources you use. Your third option is Anthos. It's a managed application platform that extends Google Cloud services and engineering practices to your environment. So you can modernize apps faster and establish operational consistency across them. With so many options, how do you choose? GKE is a fantastic option if you prefer to manage and operate Kubernetes clusters directly or need that level of control over your infrastructure. GKE is also great because of its Google Cloud Marketplace integration, which lets you access enterprise-ready containerized solutions with pre-built deployment templates, portability, simplified licensing, and consolidated billing. Cloud Run is a great choice as a fully serverless platform. It makes app development and deployment simple and fast and is fully integrated with cloud code, cloud build, cloud monitoring, and cloud logging for a complete end-to-end -end developer experience. Finally, Anthos is the right choice for many enterprises where hybrid or multi-cloud is a reality. It lets you extend the best of Google Cloud to your environments, no matter where they are, so you can modernize apps and establish operational consistency across infrastructure. Now that you understand your options, let's have a look at how to instrument your services running on them to send telemetry to cloud operations for a consistent approach to observability. Let's start with GKE. We've covered much of this in previous episodes, but let's have a look at how to get visibility into both the infrastructure and your services. Let's start by inspecting our cluster. Here, we can confirm that we have both system and workload logging enabled and monitoring enabled for the cluster. This means that we'll get logs from our containers and cluster infrastructure and infrastructure metrics ingested automatically. Let's head over to monitoring and have a look. We'll start at the GKE dashboard. Here, we can see information about our clusters, their nodes, and the workloads and services running on them, even down to the pod and container level. We can select a specific workload to get information about it. Here, we can see if it's generating any alerts, metrics that show its health and behavior, and the logs it's generating. In this case, the workload is a deployment. If we want to know what pods or containers are running in this deployment, we can filter the entire dashboard by that resource. We can then see the actual container running in our workload and get its metrics and even container logs. Note that workloads on GKE do not have automatic tracing enabled. Have a look at our previous episode on distributed tracing with OpenTelemetry if this is something you need. GKE is well integrated with cloud operations and makes it easy to monitor and observe both your infrastructure and services. Now, let's have a look at managing services on Cloud Run. From the project dashboard, let's go to the products menu and select Cloud Run. Cloud Run homepage shows all services running in the project. When we select our service, the Metrics tab will show some of the key performance indicators like Request Count, Broken Avar Response Code class, and Latency with 50th, 95th, and 99th percentile latencies automatically calculated. So metrics that we would want to use as service level indicators or SLIs are created for us right out of the box. We can switch to the Logs tab to see the logs for our service and even view them in a Logs Explorer. 
Here, we can analyze and query Logstreet Cloud Run service using queries, the field explorer, or the histogram. You can review our previous episode on cloud logging for more details if you like. Back on the metric screen, we can also open Cloud Trace and go directly to the list of traces for our service. We can select a trace and see detailed information for that request, including total latency and any dependencies our service might have. So this is how container applications running in Cloud Run are automatically instrumented to send metrics, logs, and traces to cloud operations. Finally, let's have a look at how Anthos clusters are integrated with cloud operations to provide visibility into the infrastructure, no matter where it's running, and your services. From the project dashboard, let's go to GKE clusters. Here, we have two clusters running on GKE in the cloud and another cluster managed by Anthos. Let's have a look at how we can start to visualize the health of the cluster and the workloads running on it. Our first dashboard shows us the status of the control plane, including the availability of the API server, scheduler, and controller manager. We can also see the status of the infrastructure and understand how our nodes are using CPU, memory, and disk resources. Finally, we can look at the status of the actual workloads running in our Anthos cluster by understanding metrics like container CPU, memory usage, restarts, and network traffic. To understand more about what's happening with our container workloads, we can go to Logging and look at Logs Explorer. Here, we can look at Kubernetes container logs and filter them to just the logs being emitted by services running in the Anthos managed cluster. We can scroll down and select a specific pod or container we're actually interested in. For example, if we want to get the logs being generated by our front end, we can select that as the pod name to filter the logs to just those. So this is how cloud operations can help you visualize metrics and analyze logs being emitted by your container workloads running on an Anthos cluster. Thanks for joining me today. We covered your options for running containers in Google Cloud and how to observe both the infrastructure and your services for each one. I hope this helps you run more reliable container services and keep your users happy. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on more engineering for reliability with Google Cloud. See you soon.